For several years, Jenny Thomas, wife of Justice Clarence Thomas, was paid tens of thousands of dollars for consulting work in a secretive arrangement brokered by a powerful conservative activist who specified that Jenny Thomas's name should be left off billing records, according to the Washington Post. The Post reports that Leonard Leo, the influential founder of the Federalist Society, a key group in the Republican effort to make the federal judiciary more conservative, arranged for Ginny Thomas to be paid at least $80,000 through a nonprofit group he advises. Leo told that group not to record her name, writing, no mention of Ginny, of course. That same year, the nonprofit group filed an amicus brief in a landmark voting rights case before the Supreme Court. Clarence Thomas, already under scrutiny for taking lavish vacations courtesy of a billionaire GOP mega-donor who also bought Thomas's mother's house and helped pay for his great-nephew's private school. Democrats and some Republicans are calling for a cleanup at the court. The drip, drip, drip of these destructive disclosures is going to destroy the United States Supreme Court.